<laughs> hi. Welcome uh, hi, to Greg welcome. and Jack's Wild and Whack Adventures. This is Grace, and that's Jack. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm new here. Um, you've met me before. I'm very cool. You've met Jack, and now it's time for Greg. Hi. I'm Grace. Um, I'm a freshman this year at Little High School, and so I'm I. living it up at Little High School. Today, Jack and I are going to be talking about the conspiracy theories of The Sims. The Sims. Our first conspiracy theory is that Bella Goth was actually, actually <laughs> abducted, abducted by, by aliens. By aliens. And my backup is that she was abducted, <laughs> and now she's dead. She's not dead. That's why <laughs> she was abducted, because now she's dead. She's not dead. Okay, I'm going to explain this because I actually play The Sims because I'm actually cool. Bella Goth was a character in The Sims from The Sims 2, and then she went missing in The Sims 3, and then she came back in The Sims 4. What happened? Uh-oh, she must have been abducted by aliens. Because, you know, that's the most logical thing, is that she actually got <laughs> yeah. abducted. She's gone. I mean, there is an Aliens DLC for the game, so... Maybe. Maybe. Also, about more about the alien thing, is that the little what is that called? The little thingy, the, the triangle thingy. Oh, the plimbob. The plimbob is actually a spaceship, and it abducted her. <laughs> um, sure, we'll go with that. All right. Okay. Um, now the second one on this list thing is that the tragic clown drowned in his own tears. This is very sad. Me. Can we get an F? Um, so in The Sims 3, uh, the clown was buried in what Valley Graveyard. But how did he die? I don't know. He was a really sad clown, so what if he drowned in his tears? You know, because you can't breathe underwater. <laughs> <laughs> he just sleeping one day. He's like, oh no, there's water in my nose. He just dies. Because he cries from his nose. <laughs> also. He, he was he was sleeping. Can we just take into um, consideration that the people who actually develop a Sims game are very, very smart. Because it would kind of be really awkward if um, the Sims spoke English. Oh wait, the website here says that the the clown like if you see him in the graveyard his ghost is blue and like each of the ghosts have different colors and blue means that they drowned which is my most common one for getting rid of sims i don't like <laughs> just get a pool Indeed. build walls around it when they're inside of it actually i don't play the sims <laughs> of course my friend plays the sims and like she has this problem with butler her butler and it like catches on fire when it like comes within a general direction of the stove. So I would I would want to know that. Jack, do you have any do do Sims even what's the deal with catching on fire? Well, obviously, people don't like fire cuz it kills them. <laughs> that wasn't my well, question. Well, what do you mean? What's your question? Why is she on fire? Why is why Megan on is fire? This, why is this why is this specific Sim, specifically the butler? Butler. Butler. <laughs> Why is the butler specifically catching on fire? Why isn't it like the children <laughs> or the mother? Why is it specifically the butler? That is obviously because the butler is a vampire. And that's why she catches on fire. Exactly. Now, back to what I was saying about how smart the people who made the Sims are. Um, they made them speak a different language because it would be kind of weird if you could just like... Well, that is a real language. Well, not English. Not English. It's not English. It's not English. And can we just... You know how weird it would be if they spoke English? Like... It would be weird. Because... Because why would I want to understand what they're saying? Like, well, I don't care about them. They're just there to get money. Like, you could tell their... Expressions? You could tell their everything, and that's just by what they're saying, you could tell what they're talking about. But yeah. if they spoke English, I think it would be an entirely different thing, because it would kind of just be awkward. It would be very awkward. 
Conspiracy theory. Um, the crumble bottoms are behind everything. Now, what is everything, Grace? Everything. The deaths. The fires. The tragedies. Jack, would you like to explain them? No, I don't. I don't know who the crumble bottoms are. Okay, well, no. Let's read into it. Let's, let's read, read into, into it. it. Let's. Okay. Let's talk Throughout about the that. Sims franchise, you get the feeling that one group of people must be in charge. One theory is that the crumble bottoms, the crumple bottoms, are actually behind everything. They're a rich outsider family, all of whom have a se or have some serious connections. Well, plus Agnes crumble bo crumple bottom consistently defies death throughout the series. Uh oh, how does she do that? Uh, there. Okay. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. See, maybe she's like a, a Greek scientist. God. Oh, <laughs> same thing. Same thing, but just. Different stuff, you know? Maybe she's rich enough to buy the cure for death, which is like a pear in the game. There's a pear of life, and you eat the pear. Like and... two of them? Hmm? A pear of life? Two of them? Oh. Fruit. Um, so, this kind of makes sense. Um, people are saying that uh, Grim Reapers are just Sims reincarnated. So, uh, if you don't know what the Grim Reaper is from The Sims, every time that you accidentally drown one of your Sims... Catch him on fire. Uh, the Grim Reaper comes, and he's like, hey, uh, come with me. And then he just, like, slaps them. And yeah, they just instantly turn into, like, a, just, a tombstone. He just mollywops them in there. <laughs> they, they disappear. Uh, would you like to read up on why the Grim Reaper is... The Grim Reaper is surprisingly entertaining. So, people are just, like, oh, well, maybe he's just Sim, but reincarnated. And he's like, That Ooh. made absolutely no sense. Why and then just... they turn into a um, tombstone, and then they're dead. But how does that explain why he's... Okay, I'm just going to read this. The Grim Reaper is a surprisingly entertaining part of The Sims franchise. It's also vastly inconsistent from game to game. From the wild medieval reaper to the more or to the more traditional reaper in The Sims 3. Each game's reaper looks and acts differently. One theory suggests that this could be because the Grim Reaper is just a temporary role that a different sim embodies until it's time for the next dead person to take their place. Now, that's pretty edgy. You see, there might have been a zombie apocalypse. Whoa, think about between that. Between games. You see, the zombie apocalypse is intense, you see, and um, people are saying, you know, some characters might have disappeared, or there's new stuff, old stuff. Bella Goth. Bella Goth? Maybe it was an alien zombie apocalypse. Maybe Ever it was thought just about an that? alien apocalypse. An Bella alien Goth. Apocalypse. Bella Goth. We're coming. Bella Goth. We're going to save her. Bella Goth. Bella. So, the zombie apocalypse, um, that's a lot. That's, um, that's a lot. All right. Well, that wraps up our, <laughs> what's that? Drink? Why did you jump? Keep saying. Okay. Keep this concludes our, uh, Sims Conspiracy Theory episode. Well, actually, our first episode. This is our first, um. First episode. It's our first episode. And first. we're going to have, um other games and maybe some other stuff in the future um well make sure that you go out and buy the sims because the sims is cool make sure that you smash that like button and turn on post notifications oh yeah and subscribe. because subscribing is cool too you want to be notified when you get another great video it's, it's this is the best content you'll get on youtube yeah.